A manufacturer is designing a new container for their chocolate-covered almonds. Their original container was a cylinder with a height of 18 centimeters and a diameter of 14 centimeters. The new container can be modeled by a rectangular prism with a square base and will contain the same amount of chocolate-covered almonds. If the new container's height is 16 centimeters, determine and state to the nearest tenth of a centimeter the side length of the new container if both containers contain the same amount of almonds. A store owner who sells the chocolate-covered almonds displays them on a shelf whose dimensions are 80 centimeters long and 60 centimeters wide. The shelf can only hold one layer of new containers when each new container sits on its square base. Determine and state the maximum number of new containers the store owner can fit on the shelf. All right, so uh, the shelf can only hold one layer. Okay, all right. So <laughs> not to editorialize, but there's a lot of information here, a lot of background information, and um, there's something I don't like about this question uh, in particular, they, they, it's emphasizing that there's the same amount of almonds, which is their way of saying that the uh, the two containers, the old container and the new container, have the same volume. That's the interpretation. If you didn't um, if you didn't understand, uh, which to me it's it's a little inaccurate to say just because the amount of almonds that um, the amount of space that the almonds take up, yes, it's. Uh, you know, will roughly represent the same, um, the, the volume that's inside of the container, but it's not quite that, okay? Anyway, so any, um, so what we, um, what we have to do here is we need to figure out the dimensions of the, uh, of the rectangular prism. It says here that the height of the, um, of the new container is 16, and it's a, it's a rectangular prism with a square base, so that means the volume of the new prism of the new container is going to be 16x squared. And this will be equal to the volume of the old container, which is pi times r squared, which is 7, right, because half of 14, 7 squared times 18. And what we got to do is we got to figure out what is the length of x. So what we do is divide both sides by 16, and then we take the square root of that, right? So we can actually just enter that all into the calculator in one step. So let's go to our calculator. So I have the square root of pi times 7 squared times 18 divided by 16. And that would be 13.15 nine seven or thirteen point one six approximately so x will equal to thirteen point one six so uh, and this is going to be measured in centimeters and then uh, it says here because there's a second part now right because we not only need to figure out the dimensions of the container, but we also need to figure out how many of these things we can fit on the shelf, and we can only fit one layer of it, right? So what do I mean? What do we? What do they mean by this? So we have this container now, which is thirteen point one six. Uh, oh, and it says round to the nearest tenth. So we're gonna. So it's going to be thirteen point two centimeters. So it's 13.2, 13.2, and 16, roughly, okay? So that's dimensions. And since we have uh, a shelf measuring 80 by 60, right? So it's going to be like this, 80 by 60. Whoops, it's a little too exaggerated, so I'm going to make it like that. So I have 80 and 60. So if we if we take a look at this, right, 13.2, right, um, can go into 60 how many times? So 13.2 can go into 60. So I'm going to take 60 and divide by 
because that will give me um, the number of um, of those boxes then, right? 60 divided by 13.2. That would be 4.5. So I can only fit 4 going in this direction here. 1, 2, 3, 4, because it's 0.5, right? And then 80, how many of those 80 divided by 13.2? So 80 divided by 13.2, that would be 6. The most I can fit is 6. So going in this direction, the most I can fit is 6. So I want to draw this a little more accurately. So I can go like that, 1 through 4, 5, and 6 with a little left over. Okay, so um, so going in this direction, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to fit. So this is going to be six point oh six, and the other is four point five four. Six point oh six and four point five four. So the most I can fit is four going down and six going across. Or in other words, I can fit twenty four. 24 cans okay so if you were thinking of um, multiplying 60 and 80 and then dividing it by the footprint of the container uh, that would not be the way to go just because yes you would be utilizing every um, like every surface okay all the surface however because we're dealing with like a rigid um, square here, like a rigid object, uh, and because of the, the rigidity, okay, we uh, we can't we have to account for that. So we we have to uh, figure out dimensionally, okay, in the vertical direction and the horizontal direction, okay, how many times thirteen point two can go into that. So that's the only way to go about it.